Judge Michael Wellington never planned on being a judge, or even a lawyer for that matter, but he got some of his best training for the courtroom by selling encyclopedias during summers off from San Diego State. It gave me experience meeting strange people and learning how to deal with them, deal with them tactfully, deal with them respectfully, uh, how to talk to them. Uh, I'm, I'm frankly forever grateful. Back in 1968, when Judge Wellington entered USD School of Law, he remembers that tuition was a lot cheaper and male students wore suits and ties to class. He also knew what he didn't want to practice. And I absolutely did not want to do criminal law. It just seemed so tawdry. But thanks to a job recommendation from USD law professor Larry Alexander, that's where Judge Wellington ended up. He's the guy that talked me into applying at the Attorney General's office. So, Larry, if you're out there, thank you. I appreciate it enormously. Judge Wellington recruited fellow USD School of Law grad Gary Shans to join him at the AG's office. They've been friends ever since. He really um, imbued me with the, the sense of public service and that we were on a mission uh, to see that justice was done in, in all of our cases. The Attorney General's office was a tight-knit group of young prosecutors in the early 80s. They worked hard and played hard and even took their show on the road with a garage band called Law in Motion. And we got together out at my place and sort of plugged everything in and found that we could pretty much all play the same song at the same time. This rare footage was taken at the waterfront in Little Italy. That's Judge Wellington on guitar and Gary on the drums. The band's biggest gig was at the Palomino Club in Hollywood. But it was Judge Wellington's skill in the courtroom that would bring him national attention. He appeared before the U.S. Supreme Court successfully arguing for the People versus Robert Alton Harris. It was the first death penalty case in San Diego following the reinstatement of California's death penalty in 1978. The case brought to the U.S. Supreme Court some very important issues and uh, it needed a, a, a very clear and, and a persuasive advocate, and, and uh, Mike provided that at the, at the Supreme Court level. The High Court upheld California's death penalty. Both men would later become judges and serve on the now famous Riverside Strike Force. It was an unprecedented effort to clear a backlog of aging cases with a success that made legal history. As a justice on the Court of Appeals, Huffman reviews Judge Wellington's cases on the Superior Court bench. He has the ability to communicate with people, to bring things down to a, a level where people understand what you're talking about by giving examples and, and sharing experience. Judge Wellington might never have left the AG's office for the bench were it not for the urging of his wife, Sarah. They were married in 1985. She became a lawyer too, now retired. Judge Wellington was happy to preside over a special ceremony outside the courtroom. He performed my marriage to my wife Judy and that is a special memory um, and place and it gives you the idea of the depth of friendship and esteem that, that I hold Mike in. Judge Wellington is active with the California Center for Judicial Education and Research. He volunteers alongside Justice Huffman, teaching members of the legal profession. He has also been a guest lecturer at his alma mater. He is truly a legal scholar. The certain knowledge that I'm going to be facing 30 or 40 of my colleagues and trying to teach them something is a great spur to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's fun. Judge Wellington's office is filled with memorabilia from a full life outside the courtroom. He's an avid golfer and an accomplished photographer. And he's pleased to join the ranks of University of San Diego School of Law's distinguished alumni. It feels like my school reaching out to me and saying, well, you didn't do so bad after all. <laughs> and I just, I appreciate it. As a fellow distinguished alumni from USC Law School, I am uh, even more honored now that Mike has been recognized with this award. During his 20 years on the bench, Judge Wellington served twice as supervising criminal judge of the court. He retired in January, but you'd never know it. He's still working full-time by assignment in the same courtroom with the same staff. Only difference, he can take vacation when he wants. And when people ask him the secret to his success, it's a pretty simple formula. 
Don't be managing your life to try to position yourself for something in the future. Pick something that you enjoy doing, that you think is meaningful to you, and do it the very best you can. Good advice from a former encyclopedia salesman.